Hi guys, how are you doing today? Uh, it's your boy Nick here. And today we'll be talking about the 20 EMA. And 20 EMA is an indicator, and it's a very, very powerful indicator that I get me. I get to identify in the market and I love to use the trade. So um, this is pretty much the only indicator I'm using for the wine and 20 EMA. And you guys hear me talk about 20 EMA a lot. And today I'm going to show you exactly how I use 20 EMA. Mm. Okay, so I use 20 EMA on the one hour time frame. I want you guys to take notes um, of this. Um, you know, you can write it down there on your screen and put it there. So use I use I use the 20 EMA on the one hour, you know, and the 15 minutes time frame. Okay, these are the time frame that I use is that my more like the you know additional confidence to my confirmation because you know um 20 EMA the, the indicator generally are lagging and you know, don't rely on them a lot but I use this as an additional confirmation to my trading strategy okay and you know I want you guys to know this one one hour and then it means a lot and it's useful in useful in a strong this will be strong trending markets again. Okay. And 20 year may also when when price is moving sideways. It's useless. So which means when price is consolidating, it's moved useless. So it is used, um, I use 20 EM in one hour and 15 minutes and it's useful in a strong trend market alone, just like what you can see here on GU. And how do you get to apply this 20 EM? And you just have to get rid of this. Go down to indicator, search for MAE, and then this is moving average exponential. Click on it, it's gonna pop up right here on your screen. Go to settings, change the length to 20, okay, and then you are good. So this is it on the chart and also 20 EMA above price above price downtrend. Okay. Downtrend. 20 EMA. Price simple as this, guys. That simple as this. Okay, uh, I want you guys to take note of what I wrote down on the screen. I'm going to get rid this in a bit. I'm going to show you guys in the chat. So, take a screenshot, uh, take a screenshot, take note of all of these. Um, these are just like the information about this indicator. So, so you can see on GDP USD right here, and you can see what's happening on GDP USD prices moving within the range, and 20 EMA is useless because um, it's just in the middle, and you know, we don't want to use this in a market like this. We we want to use it in a strong trending market, just like I said, okay? And just like this, you can see this is obviously an uptrend right here. Why? Because you can see how price is bouncing above. So the lines and you know, creating a series of higher highs and higher lows. So this is an uptrend and 20 m is useful in a trend like this. So what do we look at for? We look at for impulse and then we look at for correction to 20 m I call it penetration. Some of my friends call it piercing. You know, when 20 m pierce, when we get a rejection on 20 EMA. And it makes a lot of sense when there's a structure in it. So when I'm doing confidence, I'm going to go into more detail on that. But I just want you guys to know the basic use of 20 EMA. 20 EMA is below price right here. And this is signifying we are in an uptrend environment, so we are looking for a buying opportunity a lot. And just like I said, inputs, strong candles, just like I've been, you guys have watched momentum video. And then you see inputs like this, and then we come back to the 20 MA, and then you get to see rejections on 20 MA. And you know, that's giving you a clue we're gonna go up. So price breaks the upside, and then we get another rejection on 20 MA. We are continuing to the upside, inputs the upside, 20 MA rejection. So when price keeps bouncing up. 20 AM, you get to see rejection, reversal candles, you take your entries and then put your stop loss underneath that particular candle and then you're good to go. 
So you can see how price is respecting that in the long chain market. And price is moving sideways, it's useless. You see, we had an impulse, 20 EMA penetration, came back in. That is your entry signal. Moving sideways, 20 EMA is useless. Switch impulse to the upside, and you can see how we came back to 20 EMA. That is your buy. So you're going to make a lot of money, a whole lot of money trading this 20 EMA and, you know, flags a lot. Okay, I love to trade with flags, though, and just so that you can know. So we've seen, yeah, price breaks out of 20 EMA. Yeah. There was no entry right here because we need a reversal coming right there. So as soon as we get that weeks and then reversal came back into close by under our 20 m that's our entry sign. Stop loss above and then we are good to go. 20 m penetration, you can see we had piercing on 20 m stop loss above, we are good to go. Uptrend, same thing. Downtrend, the same thing. Price came to 20 m and then, you know, with the flag, that is your entry right there. Price PS out of 20 EMA, that's your entry, boom, that's your entry, downtrend signify because you know, you can see strong impulse, 20 EMA just keep coming down and that's your entry. Okay, uptrend market, 20 EMA flags, that is your entry, impulse to 20 EMA, that is your entry, that is your entry. Okay, so all this makes sense and that's how you use 20 EMA in an uptrending market and a downtrending market. When price is moving sideways just like this, 20 EMA is useless. You want it in a trending market, okay? A strong trending market just like the information I give you. And this one makes sense, um, kind of messy though. Uh, but you know, this would have been an entry right here because we had a flag here. Um, but guess what, this one would have hit a stop loss above. It's fine, it's part of the business. You know, this also makes sense, 20 EMA rejection right here. Stop loss above and stop loss got hit. It's fine. You, when we pierce back, you wait for another 20 EMA rejection. Mind you, you have to see impulse just like we did on momentum. Two so strong candles before you wait for correction to 20 EMA. Don't just trade a messy market like that. Personally, I wouldn't take this trade because there was no clear setup right there. Okay, so we need a clear signal, and I'm, I'm going to show you guys an example of a clear setup with it. It's the 20 EMA. Though so we've seen some other ones work. You know, this one makes sense also because you can see strong impulse and then correction to 20 EMA. This one will have been an entry stop loss below this one. It's TP, definitely. Price is messy right here, no setup. 20 EMA is useless. It's a lovely uptrending market. 20 EMA is useful here. Okay. Price penetrate 20 EMA, pierce back in. That is your entry. Price penetrate 20 EMA, pierce back in. That is your entry. This is a lovely strong impulse candle and wait for rejection of 20 EMA, that's your entry. Which on 20 EMA, that's your entry. Mm. Okay, so strong impulse up, engulfing on 20 EMA, as you can see, obviously, that is your entry. So uptrending market, 20 EMA has to be below price. Strong trending market, not when price is moving sideways like this, it's pretty much useless. So strong impulsive candle, and you can see flag to 20 EMA, you just wait for the breakout on this case because there's no strong penetration so i just wait for the breakout and then i'll put the trade lovely entry right here on 20 am when we have weeks right there it's making sense lovely flag formation right here on 20 am even if this one was a breakout but you can see the weeks right here lovely entry okay i hope this video makes sense to you guys just very very simple stuff on how to trade 20 EMA. and you know stop loss gonna get hit and TP is going to get hit also, so you want to be mindful of that also. Okay, it's okay taking a loss, so you don't want to win all the trade. Okay, it's not possible. It is impossible. So this is right here, 20 EMA flag. TP got hit flag on 20 EMA. That's what's up. So this is how you use 20 EMA. It works well on EU, GU, EJ, you know, U, um, USCHF. And those are the peers that I, I trade this strategy mostly on. And you can back this on other peers also if you want. And let's get to see how it works. So, guys, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you have any questions, hit me up on my Twitter account at Naked Forest 20, and I will get to answer your question right there. Okay. Take care, guys, and have a great weekend. See you guys on the next video.